My name is Sabria McFarland. The House of David cult was founded by Benjamin and Mary Purnell in the early 1900s. Benjamin believed that he personally received messages from God, relaying to him the beliefs of the cult. Throughout its history, the cult focused on its surrounding community and created ways to recruit new members. The creation of their baseball team in the Eden Springs Amusement Park further spread their ideas to the greater community. The House of David ignored the racial segregation of their time and integrated African American and Jewish players onto their teams. They did this by hiring players from different minorities to play for their team, and they did not hesitate to play against minorities as well. Despite its eventual collapse due to Benjamin's crimes, the House of David as a whole crossed racial boundaries through their baseball team, allowed Benton Harbor, Michigan to grow economically, were progressive in regards to women's rights, and developed many inventions that are still used in the present day. Today, remnants of the cult are present in our use of stadium lights and ice cream cones. As members of the House of David devoted themselves to the cult, Kurt Vonnegut criticizes man's need to conform to a group in search of greater power. Vonnegut, a postmodern writer and pacifist, focuses on the themes of fate versus free will, religion, war, and human progress. As an existentialist, Vonnegut criticizes the belief that there is a higher power and the idea that humans have control over their lives. In many of his novels, the characters become dehumanized by the world around them, losing any sense of individuality. This is due to the societal pressure that compels them to conform to the group mentality. For example, in Slaughterhouse-Five, the characters become completely desensitized to war due to its normalization in society. This desensitization causes the characters to be stripped of their identities and creates a machine-like society. As the characters in Vonnegut's work express their individuality, they must battle society's pressure to conform. This battle then leads to the dehumanization of people and the destruction of the individual identity.